My position is maintenance technician, and I've been here since April of 2022. So I, I, I get in, and first thing we do is we try to figure out what, if anything, is broken. And then we plan our schedule around that. So we're going to go over here to our star uh, lathes. And uh, they have a bad pressure gauge, and we're going to swap it out for them. Usually, nothing's broken because in maintenance, you spend most of your time trying to prevent things from breaking by doing what's called preventative maintenance. We shorten it to PM. We kind of use it as a verb even. We have to PM something. And we go through and we check it out, replace things that go bad a lot so they don't go bad while it's running. But on the off chance something does break outside of when we want it to, which is usually the case, we go in there and fix it. But yeah, more often than not, we're just coming in, we're, we're doing more preventative maintenance, at least on third. You can see all that, see all that schmutz going in the vacuum. And we suck out the vacuum with our pumper. Um, and then that goes into the uh, separator. Well, the uh, coolant is what we use in it anyway. Uh, and it helps break up the grease and the grime and everything. Uh, you know, if you've ever tried to mix like uh, vegetable oil and water, you know, they just kind of, you know, well, they don't mix. So growing up, I always used to just like take stuff apart, you know, and see how it worked and stuff like that. And you know, I discovered I had a little bit of an aptitude for that kind of stuff. And I also found I had a little bit of an aptitude for the arts. And I think a lot of people kind of box themselves in whether they are, are really good at the arts and they don't want to get their hands dirty. And then you have people that do like a man, you know, like a, a technical job or something. They say, oh, you know, I don't want to be involved with the arts and I think it makes a more complete human to be involved in both. I spent the first pretty much decade of my working life on second shift. You don't really have a lot of opportunities to do anything outside of work and sleep. And uh, I've always been involved with the arts. Um, in high school, I was in band. I played tuba. I did one play, West Side Story. Um, and it really bummed me out that being on second, I couldn't be involved with any of that stuff. And so it was actually a really good opportunity to come here and start on third and enabled me to do what I love to do outside of work and stuff. And so I decided to try and get into the local community theater, Gaslight Playhouse, because I've been involved since 2017 with Gaslight. My first show with them was called Wait Until Dark. That was a lot of fun. And I kind of caught the bug. So yeah, there was like a few times where I could make it work, but I had to turn down a lot of shows until I started working here uh, based on my schedule. When you're on first shift, you front load your day. So you get up, you go to work, you do all the stuff you got to do, then you go to bed. And, uh, and on third shift, you back load your day. So you wake up, you do everything else, then go to work, then get home, go to bed. So, uh, yeah, just I, I try to fit everything in before I have to go to work. Yeah, we're here at the CLC Community Learning Center. We're about to go to the theater. And right inside is our beautiful, our main, the communities, uh, beautiful Art Deco theater. It's been recently remodeled and refurbished, and all the seats have been replaced, new carpet, lights, everything. And take a look at those light fixtures. That's my favorite part. And our incredible sound system back here, super high tech furnished by uh, Sweetwater Sound in Fort Wayne. Rumors is really fun. It's a house party, and uh, we discover one of our friends shot himself through the earlobe. So we're trying to figure out why that happened. You know, all the couples have their own kind of problems, too. Like, it's pretty funny. It's funny stuff. We have a really awesome director for this show, East Noble grad, Ruben Albaugh. Really incredible. Gaslight's a really awesome organization. If you have any interest and doing theater or even if you just want a hobby or something come down and audition uh, you can act you can set build you can help run the stage crew you, i mean we'll take anybody everybody doesn't matter gaslight playhouse on facebook we have an instagram and our website gaslightplayhouse.org and that'll show give you all our casting calls and if you you don't want to come to a casting call maybe that freaks you out or something even if you want to do set just email the our email at, on the Gaslight website or message our Facebook. They'll put you in touch with the right people. And we always make sure to uh, give our crew the props they deserve. <laughs> Just want to thank my fellow castmates and crew for a uh, really awesome show that we're about to do.
it's a big time commitment, but it's all worth it once you get on stage and making people laugh, you know, uh, feel like, you know, you're, you're doing something you're, you're, it sounds very cliche, but you're, you're a part of something bigger than yourself and it's a good thing. I'm not the only one who has, you know, talents outside of working here. I mean, we have like guitar players, we have woodworkers and it's very important to have that. And I think that's valued here. Yeah, if somebody was uh, in town looking for uh, some place to work, I, w I would definitely encourage them uh, to come apply at Flint Walling. Great crew here, very competitive pay and uh, room for advancement. I mean, since I've been here, I've moved up five pay scales, you know, in the two years I've been here. Yeah, I, I definitely, I, I couldn't recommend Flint Walling more. Flint Walling is the kind of place where uh, you can retire from. Everything goes according to plan. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. I mean, there's a great pension here. We have good health care. It's a good place to work. One thing I really appreciate uh, about my... Uh, what? Okay. So I'm like trying to focus on not saying anything stupid. This isn't going in. Why am I... Please ask me another question. <laughs> I got way off track. Hold on. I got this. We ready? We're ready. Okay.